At six, lawmakers in both Austin and Washington are looking for ways to stop the spread of measles. But it's a controversial issue, balancing public health with personal freedom for those who oppose vaccinations. We have team coverage right now with KETK's Annalise Coble reporting on measles cases in Texas and Alexandra Lamone covering a congressional hearing about outbreaks in other states. Annalise, the growing number of cases has really gotten the attention of state lawmakers. Casey, we have eight confirmed cases of measles in Texas already this year, and one lawmaker is trying to make it easier for parents to opt out of vaccines. It's only been two months since we rang in the new year, and already measles cases are on the rise from previous years. Even though the United States was declared measles free in the year 2000, so it was officially declared eliminated by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, it's now back. The CDC says there have been 159 documented cases in 2019, compared to 372 cases total in 2018. It's back because of drops in vaccine coverage in a number of states, including the state of Texas, Washington, and Oregon. And it's dropped because of a phony misinformation campaign put up by the anti-vaccine lobby. Here in Texas, we have had eight cases this year. Back in 2018, for the full year, we had a total of nine. A new bill proposed by Texas Representative Matt Krause and backed by Representative Bill Zedler would make it easier for parents to request vaccine exemptions. Zedler says he doesn't understand the fuss over the reappearance of the infectious disease. They want to say people are dying of measles. Yeah, in third world countries, they're dying of measles. Today, with antibiotics and that kind of stuff, they're not dying in America. Bell, Denton, Galveston, and Montgomery counties each have one confirmed case of measles, while Harris County has had four. So far, East Texas counties have been spared. We're not waiting for the phone to ring uh, at the end of the day that says, oh my gosh, we just got overwhelmed with cases of measles. That, that's not the case. The bill pending in Texas legislature would also prevent the state health department from tracking the number of vaccine exemptions. Public health officials worry that would curb their ability to identify and stop outbreaks. Live in the studio, Annalise Coble, KETK News.